Well, first things first, if that's not squad goals, then I don't know what is. We've already found that every one of these units are very powerful in their own way. Each of the sauces are unique, but if we bring them together, can they beat the strongest unit in the game? Will they be able to vanquish the Dark Peasant? I can't wait to find out. Well, that was a whole lot less climactic than I would have imagined. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, where for today's episode, we've got an all new first. Like many of you guys know, I've been playing this game for a very long time, but I've never actually been in the game until now. You know, thanks to you guys, so many of you have been making Captain Sauce units that I really couldn't resist checking some of them out and seeing just how broken and hilarious they are. We'll start things off with my creation. Okay, this is my Captain Sauce, and I feel pretty good about it. You know, like, the costume looks all right. There are a couple little clipping issues, and I didn't manage to get a logo, but still, it worked really well. The head is gonna be an issue for everyone, because there is no default sphere or tomato that you can work with, so I think that's a combination of a motorcycle helmet, and a mask, and a Pac-Man face, and a pumpkin, and maybe a couple other things. Like, half a dozen helmets just mushed together to try to make a tomato. It's not flawless, but it'll make a good standard to beat. Now, of course, the big test is gonna be whether or not he can beat equal value in hobbits. Because as we all know, any Captain Sauce who can't rain pain on a hobbit isn't worth his sauce. I get the feeling mine should be just fine. He's very fast. And I'm pretty sure you should start things off by cupping a fart and throwing it at them. Which, I mean, isn't exactly an ability that I'm proud of, but he's also got his sister fister technique, which it's a bit of a nuclear punch. I mean, the hobbits would be worried about that, the fact that they're going to be glowing for the rest of their lives, but it's really only about nine seconds. I want to see some of them fly. I specifically made him to hurt hobbits, let's be perfectly honest. So I'm hoping that he can send a couple off the map. That Sister Fister Punch really likes to send stuff into the stratosphere. <laughs> that was perfect. It was like Team Rocket having lost a Pikachu. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. Yes. Oh man, it couldn't have started any better than that. How about we have my creation face off against all the fan favorites? You know, we've already put a hobbit into orbit, but I'm willing to bet that Snuffy has a bone to pick with us. I've definitely put him through some pain over the years. <laughs> Come on, Snuffy, bring that thickness in here. I don't think you've got what it takes to completely ignore my fart. Oh, oh, okay. Um, does a trunk make you invulnerable to smell? <laughs> I don't like the fact that he's stepping on me trying to turn me from chunky into smooth sauce. <laughs> Stop with the tornadoes. You gotta hit him with that sister fister, buds. Come on. Punch him right in his giant fuzzy taint, please. I just wanna see one punch. We could definitely send him over the edge with a good one. <laughs> I swear I'm just rubbing my stem up against his balls, please. You gotta do something, sauce. You gotta make something happen. Oh no. <laughs> All right, I had that coming. This isn't the heavyweight matchup of the century, then I don't know what is. We've got Captain Sauce against Santa Claus. And I don't really know who to root for. Like, I love Santa. He's still my favorite creation, but he's dramatically outvalued. And I don't know how he fares against wind. Pretty well. He kind of just swan dived through it. What about a punch in the balls? Okay, he dodged it. Crafty old man. Come on, Sauce. I can't believe he just slice him, dice him to me. <laughs> Way to go, Santa. This one really stood out for me because of the head choice. I'm not really sure what happened to elongate my head and squeeze it in, but I really like it. It's super weird. Also, all of these units are obviously gonna be called Captain Sauce, so I'm gonna give them their own names. This is gonna be Long Sauce. Long Sauce is an expensive boy, so he's gonna have to face off against quite a few hobbits to see whether or not he is worth his sauce. How did they get him to fly? I couldn't make mine fly, I could only make him hover. He's flying through the ground. 
He's underground as we speak. He's just popping up. Hold on a second. Can we slow this down? I'm like 95% sure that he's using Dig right now. Like he's some kind of Pokemon. <gasps> Where are you going? I, I can appreciate the drive-by Sister Fister move that you're using, but he was 100% going underground there. These hobbits do not stand a chance. <laughs> Oh, man, it's like an old karate movie. They just get kicked into outer space. It's fantastic. Maybe he wasn't going underground. Maybe it was just an illusion. He's so fast that I have a hard time telling. All right, well, you can speed it back up and just try not to play with your food. I can see why he was so expensive. Well, he may appear extremely fast and powerful against a group of the weakest units in the game, but maybe we should try something a little bigger. A little beefier, a little stronger, a little bit more inclined to get punched in the hole. That's what he did, right? He stutter stepped him in the chest and then went through his legs and punched up the cheeks. <laughs> How do they think like me? I completely forgot the biggest fan favorite of all in the first round, the wobbly horse, of course. So I know this isn't going to be a fair fight, but I really don't think that Long Sauce is supposed to be worth 5400 Like, I get the feeling that they didn't use the auto-generate button to let the game determine what's a fair value. They just put in whatever they wanted. So I'm just going to send in as many horses as I can fit, and even then, I think they're going to get ruined. Like, some of them are going to wake up in a different area code. Let's be honest, they're not waking up at all. <laughs> Ooh, oh, for a second there, I thought they actually had him pinned down, but of course he still has the Sister Fister move up his sleeve. <laughs> These poor horses. <laughs> I mean, there's only so many times you can watch a horse get its salad tossed, right? Or we're gonna move on to a new sauce. I think this might actually be the best one yet. It's still got some issues with the underwear clipping into the pants, but at least it's got a logo on the chest. Even if it's the Landfall logo, it's still something. The head is definitely a little simplified. I, I like the use of banana for the stem. I'm gonna deem you Handsome Sauce. The weird thing about Handsome Sauce is that he's only worth 21. He's worth half a hobbit. It's technically, like I said, the test is to beat equal value in hobbits, and I'm not gonna make it two sauces versus one hobbit because that just seems ridiculous. So it's a 1v1. How exact? Oh, really? Yeah, you see what I mean? This is people just putting in whatever value they want. I wanna try to actually kill one of these super sauces, and considering this one was clearly made to not be fair, I feel like I don't need to be fair either. I'm gonna use a whole bunch of sharpshooters because I don't think they can miss. Hopefully. There's only one way of finding out. The Sister Fister technique is definitely gonna get used on these ladies, but hopefully they're actually doing some damage. Is he feeling the pain? I cannot tell. I, I, I feel like Krillin watching Super Saiyans fight. It's all just a blur. I'm not following anything. Damn it. I, I should have checked his health, but I get the feeling it just doesn't matter. I've already reached the point where I'm ready to do anything to take down one of these overpowered Captain Sauces. So I, I'm going to keep the dead eyes. I think they did an all right job, but I need something big and beefy to run in there and hopefully stop him from flying around too much. The Minotaur is as beefy as it gets, you know, quite literally. <laughs> they just need to buy a little bit of time for the Ballista. I'm willing to bet that the God Killer could take down Sauce. If not, I could always throw in a couple of gods of my own, right? <laughs> yeah, any means necessary. It's 187,000 versus 21. It just goes to show that if he wins, the unit creator values don't mean bupkis. Come on, guys, you got this. Please, please tell me you've got this. Where is he? <gasps> okay. This isn't going too badly. He can deflect projectiles. No, 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 no. Where did he go? I don't think this is going well. It's kind of, uh, they're running into the river. This is definitely not going well. Is he hiding in a building? I think he just packed his stuff up and went home. How is that even possible? I mean, it was hard enough for them to shoot at him like he's a fart in the wind, but now he's just not coming out? She's gonna live the hermit life? He really is like me. 
I don't understand how the hell he got in here, but he's still very upset and telling them to get off his lawn so he could win this. <laughs> are, are you kidding me? Are you seriously gonna win from inside? Uh, I'm trying to actually control him myself and get him out, but nothing seems to really work. This is very finicky. Oh, what are you looking at? Hold on, we're gonna switch from first person. This, this doesn't help. I may have accidentally ruined Handsome Sauce. Are there even any of them alive? Is that alive? Should, should we just... I don't know. I, I'm just gonna call this a draw. Screw it. Well, this one is definitely a very different interpretation. Like, I, I don't know what to ask first. Why can't he stand up? Why does he have shredder arms or bazooka hands or a box on his head? I think I'm gonna call you Inbred Sauce. I think Inbred Sauce finally had enough break dancing and decided to take an afternoon nap, which is good because I needed a second to figure out how I'm gonna fit the whole Shire in here. Like, uh, I can't use two or three hundred hobbits, the game is just gonna crash, so similar to Dalmatians, you get a hundred and one. Take it or leave it. <laughs> oh, um, what just ha Oh, he lost! What happened though? I'm pretty sure the bazookas on his hands took him out? I started up another round with the hopes of seeing things in slow motion, but I think he just died again, or he's still dead from the last time? He's not moving for some reason. Like maybe he's not break dancing, he just had a stroke. <laughs> This video is actually giving me an eye twitch. Like the irony of inbred sauce being constantly stillborn is just palpable, but I don't suppose we could actually get you to do something. There we go, nice slow motion action. Now what are you, oh. Okay, so he actually throws a lot of RPGs. <laughs> and I'm guessing sooner rather than later, he's gonna accidentally throw one into the dirt and end up taking himself out because blue team won once again. Well, he makes a glorious show of things, but it's kind of strange. As stupid and broken as he is, I think he's actually got a whole lot of potential. We just need to unlock it. We need to make him rise to a challenge. So I'm gonna put him against a bunch of reapers. See how the RPGs do there. If you could stand up, things would go a whole lot smoother. I'm just saying sliding around while throwing RPGs, probably not the safest. Holy crap. He just erased like a huge pack of those reapers before blowing himself up again, I think. Man, it feels bad. I just want to see him win. This is another one of those real unique interpretations that I just couldn't help but check out. I've got a giant bottle that I assume I hit people with. I assume the idea is that it's a bottle of sauce, but it just kind of looks like I'm drunk and decided to paint myself at some kind of toga party. So I'm gonna call this one Toga Party Sauce. Well, instead of being worth 21, Toga Party Sauce is worth a little shy of 100 million. Again, you get the 101 Hobbit test and I would assume you're just gonna zoom around and turn them inside out and like, I, I just want creative units, you know? I want something different. I want something that I can laugh at. This is just the same thing over and over again, except the Hobbits are surviving. How are they not dying to these hits? Like some of them are for sure, but... Oh, don't tell me you're stuck in the ground again. No, you're too fast for your own goods. The hobbits can't get you in there. Where, where did he go? <gasps> you idiot. You can't just take your bottle of booze and go home. What is with Captain Sauce and just quitting in the middle of... At first glance, I thought this one was gonna be bonus point worthy because again, people find creative ways to give me a chest logo. It's actually a necklace, but still, you know, it's something. But I'm gonna have to reduce those bonus points and actually give negative points because I'm in a diaper. Really? And where's the cape? I I'm gonna call this Babby Sauce. He's only worth 1800, so I swear to God, if he starts zipping around and one punch and stuff, I'm just gonna end the video. I I'm just gonna call it quits right there. Ooh. Okay. He's gonna jump, so he can't fly, but he can leap over buildings in a single bound. I like it. He's also getting gangbanged. Okay, maybe pull out one trick? 
I'd like to see just one trick. I, I, I really don't think that you should be crowd surfing right now. Come on. You gotta have the sister fister up your sleeve. You know most sauces do. He's punching and kicking though. He's taking them down one at a time, but it feels like they're actually holding him so he can't use any attacks. Come on, you got this. There we go, good drop kick. <laughs> Wait, so does he not have the super punch? Does he just kick? Cause that's hilarious. He broke so many spines. You know what? There was a time when I ran a tournament and found that dollar for dollar, the farmer was actually the strongest unit in this game. Like obviously one farmer against Captain Sauce would get crucified, but when you have even money, 23 versus one, they might be able to pull it off. I'd be interested in seeing it. They're definitely gonna wanna tie him up with the forks, otherwise he might actually have the sister fister move. You had that this entire time? Why didn't you use it against the hobbits? He's just playing with his food. He's just being greedy. I had to go and kick him in the teeth. I mean, they're so short, it's so easy. I wonder if Babby Sauce could take down Santa. Like when it's my sauce against Santa, then I don't really know who to root for, but in this case, I'm clearly rooting for Santa. Come on, old man, you got this. Don't give him any time to kick. Well, definitely not to punch. Just gotta keep giving him the claws. Look out, old man. Oh, yep, those balls got jingled. <gasps> Damn, ah, oh, Santa, even I felt that. Well, first things first, if that's not squad goals, then I don't know what is. We've already found that every one of these units are very powerful in their own way. Each of the sauces are unique, but if we bring them together, can they beat the strongest unit in the game? Will they be able to vanquish the Dark Peasant? I can't wait to find out. Well, that was a whole lot less climactic than I would have imagined. <laughs> These units are so stupidly powerful. What's the point? All right, fine. Screw these things. We're going with a whole bunch of dark peasants. That's not going to break my game at all, will it? Did they... Where did they all go? Again, I'm having one of those Krillin moments. Are they actually fighting in front of me, but they're too fast to see? Because I hear fighting. Um, okay then. Yeah, I'm gonna imagine that I am just not at the power level to even witness this. Two episodes ago, you guys told me that my Godzilla couldn't stand up because he was too light. And then last episode, you told me that my Godzilla couldn't stand up because he was too heavy. So let me introduce you guys to Godzilla Medium, who is still just shaking his titties around, but if he can stand up, then I'll be incredibly impressed. He's gonna face off against my sauce and hopefully not get blown over by a fart. Oh my God, he's actually, ah, damn it. <laughs> I, I was so happy. <laughs> he just decided to teabag sauce. No, please stop throwing a tantrum and get back up. I, I want you to be a 30 story tall atomic fire breathing lizard that kills the tomato superhero. What is going on? He seems incredibly confused. He's not sure where to punch. He just keeps blowing up his hole and then getting blown back on. This is not the angle that you want to attack my dude. Trust me, that is a dangerous sphincter. Could you maybe punch him? Just punch him. Just, just give him a punch. Don't, don't blow him. Th th that's kind of weird. Okay, you know what? Here, hold on a second. Let me. Ouch. Okay. Oh my God, that was close. He huffed and puffed and nearly sent me outside the map. I'm coming back. Don't you worry. I don't know how this happened, but I took control of Godzilla and he actually stood up. I'm afraid to move. I, I really just want him to do the thing that he's supposed to do. Oh my God. It's like you're constantly getting low kicked. Please. Atomic fire is space. If we could just get him somewhere where you can breathe atomic fire. Why is it over there? Come on. I know it comes out of your mouth and not your feet, but at the same time, there's no way you can get a little distance because you can't take two steps. Oh my God. Just turn him into oil. I'm, I'm done. I think our final battle for today is gonna have to be the Fruit Wars. We've got Nanners against Captain Sauces. 
I haven't actually used multiple of the same sauce this episode, so I'm kind of curious to see how they work together. They should be able to tornado fairly well, but the nanners are kind of heavy, and boy oh boy do they just love flicking fruits! <laughs> this is such a strange thing to see. Are they winning? Yeah, they won. Okay, it wasn't a fair fight on paper. I thought the Captain Sauce might have a bit of an advantage there because I'm so used to all the broken ones, but mine is actually a balanced unit. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And I wanted to quickly say thank you to anyone who has made me in this game. I can only take a look at some of them, and I get the feeling that a lot of them are gonna be very much the same, because if it's a superhero, you're gonna have him be super fast, super strong, and fly around, and then it just makes for the same thing over and over again. But I did see every single thing that had been created. So even if I didn't take a look at it, just know that I saw it, I appreciate it, I love it, thank you guys so so much because stuff like this is just super fun to see. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.